Hello, everybody. We are back with another visual pattern challenge. So here's our pattern. Here's step one, step two, step three. And your job is to figure out how many of these squares are going to be in step four. And then if you can, how many in step 43? And can you write an equation that you could use to predict the number of squares in any step at all? So that's the challenge. If you would like to accept that challenge, pause the video. Give it a try. All right, well, let's let's just try to visually understand what's going on in this pattern first. Uh, to me, this looks like a, a two by two square with one square missing. And this one, a three by three with one missing. And this one, a four by four with one missing. So I would expect in the next thing, we'd have a five by five with one piece missing. And five by five would have 25 squares and you subtract out that one. So I think this is gonna be 24. So I think in step four, we're gonna have 24 squares. Now, step 43 is, um, it's gonna be difficult unless we have an equation. So I think we need to sort that out. And my first intuition was that these look like squares with just one piece missing. So I think it's gonna be a quadratic equation, an x squared in here somehow. But this is not the step number squared. This is not one squared. That would be a, a one by one square. This is a two by two square with one piece missing. So I think my first guess is that this is the step number plus one squared. And then we're going to take out that piece. We're going to subtract one. So that's what I think might be going on here. But let's, let's actually count the squares and analyze the numbers. So I'm going to make a chart here. We're going to have the step number and the number of squares. So the first one has three, so step number one has three. Step number two has eight, and step number three, so that's four by four, 16 minus one, that's 15. And then we're predicting, in step number four, we're predicting 24. Then to analyze these numbers further, we're gonna take the difference. So eight minus three, the difference in each step. Eight minus three is five. 15 minus 8 is 7, 24 minus 15 is 9. So it's not a constant, so it's not a linear pattern. So maybe we're on the right track with this, this squared here, with this quadratic. Uh, if we take the differences of the second step, 7 minus 5 is 2, 9 minus 7 is 2. Yeah, when that's a con constant, the difference of the differences, then you know you've got a quadratic. So this is maybe our equation. I'm going to actually just foil that out and simplify the equation to see what it looks like that way. So x plus 1 squared would be x squared plus 2x plus 1. And now we've got that minus 1. So really a plus 1 minus 1, that's just going to go away. So our equation would be y equals x squared plus 2x. And now I'm going to go back to my pattern and see, does that does that make sense, x squared plus 2x? Well, here would be 1 squared, and then there's another 1 and another 1, so that would be 2x. Here's 2 squared, and here's another 2 and another 2, so that would be 2x's. So here's the x squared, here's the 2x. And we see the same thing going on here. Here's, here's the x squared, 3 by 3, and then here's an x, and here's an x, a 3 and a 3. So this does look right. So I think we can be pretty confident that's our equation. If we plug the numbers in here, let's try step two. That would be two squared plus two times two would be four. That'd be eight. And yeah, that's what we get in step two. If we did it in step three, it'd be three squared plus uh, two times three. So that'd be nine plus six, that's 15. Yeah, that's what we've got in step three. So this appears to work. So we're going to write that down as our equation. And then all we have to do is use that equation to figure out how many uh, squares in step 43. So we need to square 43. So 43 times 43 is 1,000. Actually, let me write out the equation. So y equals 43 squared plus 2 times 43. So 43 squared is 1,849, and 2 times 43 is 86. So that's going to equal 1,935. So how did that go for you? Did you get 24 for step 4? Were you able to get uh, how many in step 43? 
let me know. Thanks, everybody.